Hello and welcome back to another GDevelop tutorial. In this video I'm going to be going over how you can set up different levels and then unlock them once you have gained a certain number of coins in the previous level. So this will work quite the same way as with the door that we made where you can only go through it if you have a certain amount of coins but this is with different levels. So I'm just going to make a new scene and I'm going to rename it to uh, Level Select. And this will just have all of our different levels on it. I'm then just going to make a new object like I did with the main menu. I'm just going to make a button. So go into Sprite. Let's call this Level 1. I'm going to add an animation. Let's go with this one, the blue button 11. I'm going to open that, OK. And once again, I'm going to add a second animation for when it's like for when it's down. So you know that you're on it, so you know it works and everything. Just because it adds a bit more user feedback, really. So then you can resize as if you want. And so this is going to be my first level. Then I'm going to add another sprite. I'm going to name this level 2. And level 2 is going to have, let's say, a green button instead. So now we have our two levels. I'm just going to make these bigger. You would probably want to keep track of your width and height of both of these. And so you might want to have them, let's say, both at 200. Just so they're both exactly the same size. And they're both squares. Although if you have rectangles, then you want to have them be rectangles. So we're just going to do the same thing as we did with the menu by making it so that when you hover over them, the animation is changed to number two. Okay, so they did change where the uh, mouse over an object is, and now it's under common conditions for all objects, and then mouse and touch. I didn't realize they did this. Okay, so the cursor slash touch is on level 1. I'm going to change the animation. Just searching for animation. Level 1. Set it to 1. And then if it's not, then set it to 2. No, 0 even. Set it to 0. Okay. I can do this for level 2. Okay. So now we have these simple conditions and events. We can just play it and we see it works. Although they don't go down. And so obviously what you would want to do is have the second animation to be not just this being gone. It would be instead the entire thing just moving down. And so that's not what this is. And so I'm not going to do this, but you can if you want to have it going down like you did with the uh, main menu. And so how do you do it where you unlock it with the coins? Well, and so what we want to do is do, if score is equal to zero, then you can't play level two, but you can play level one. So we can do that quite easily by actually making a variable for every event for level two inside of it. And so if we create a new event and put these inside of it, actually what we can do is we can just drag the global variable score into here and then do if it's equal to three well actually we want to have greater than or equal to three then you can do this and so whenever this is less than three this won't happen so we'll see now this doesn't have a um, change in animation but this does showing that you can play on this but you can't but you can't play on this and so everything you want to do for level two will be underneath uh, this event. And so every single new level button you have will be under its own variable score, checking to see how many coins you have to make sure you can go on that level if you want. And so then we can just do a simple, you know, change to that scene once you click on it. And now I'm also going to make a new scene for level 2. Rename it. 
for level two. And then I'll just copy and paste this, really. It's just quicker. And we can change this to level two. And so now if we play the game, you see that if we don't collect uh, two, uh, more than two coins, we can't go through the door. We might want to change that, but it doesn't exactly matter. If we collect three, we can go through the door, but we haven't changed it. So it goes to the level select after that. And so then I'm going to change this to just nothing. And so now to get through, through the door, you don't need to have a certain number of coins. You can just go through it, but you do need a certain number of coins to get to the level select. So I'm going to change this to level select. And in this scene, I'm also going to make the score a global object. So now we have score, I'm just going to drag this in like so, and then we can simply just display the score by copying this over to here. So now if we do level select, we see our score. So then if we play our main game and we only get two coins, then our score is equal to two. And we still can't go on this, but we can go back to level one. So then if we do three coins, coins, <laughs> or five, you can go on to level two. Of course, you could lock the first level if you wanted, although I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I'll leave that to you to work out for yourselves. And so then if we look over at the level two scene, we can't play it because there's no character in it. And so all you've got to do is just make all of these global objects and then you can just use these in your in your level two. And you would want to drag these into an external event. So that's what I'll do now. I'll rename it. Let's call this player. I'll choose the scene that it links to. Let's go game, and then I'll just copy this entire group, and then I'll paste it into player, although for some reason you need to have an event already selected to be able to paste something. And so now this has been pasted, so now we have all of the things from player, and so now we can just get rid of this, and then click this, go for a link, and then link it to the player external events and so now everything from in here is in here and we can also do this for this scene as well or actually this scene then if we drag the player in we also want to have the grass as well we can get the grass and the player works as intended and so then you can do that for all of your other objects and if you want drag all of these in as well to the external events just make sure you name everything properly make sure you have it all organized but there is one more thing I want to cover quickly and that is when you fall off the platform There's no way of getting back up again. And so you just fall off forever. And so what I like to do is I like to have a sprite. And I just like to call it like collision. And I'll just just make a red box just to show that this is a danger zone. So if you hit it, then you die. I'll just call this collision. Save it, apply. And so now I'll drag this collision here and I'll just make it to wherever I don't want the player to access I will put it there and so now we have a big red box at the bottom of our scene 
And what this will do is if the player is in collision, I can just reload this scene by just changing the scene to the same scene. And then in this, I can just I can change the scene to level two. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Also, <laughs> you'll see it in the game. And so what you also want to do is, you can do this in the external events, by the way. You just want to hide that. So just hide and then collision. Okay. And that's not there anymore. So if you fall off, bang, it resells the scene. Although you might want to do this at, at the checkpoint. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it here, get rid of this. So now if we get this checkpoint and we fall off, we're at the checkpoint. And that's how simple it is. Actually, there is one more thing. You, <laughs> you might want to make a button on the main menu which links to the level select. And so I'm just going to do this. This will just change to level select. Now when I do this, I can click on this, select the level, and I can only select this one and not this one. So then I can play this, get all the coins. And then I can select this one. And that's how you do that. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want more tutorials. I'm aiming to do them every single week. This is the start. Next week will hopefully be a new video. And have fun. Mm -hmm.